Hey guys, Brick Queen here. Um, I wanted to talk to you today about a Kuso project that I saw that I thought was really, really cool. Um, and it's supposed to be from the Pirates of the Caribbean line. Um, now, Lego did make the Black Pearl and they did make the Queen Anne's Revenge. However, um, everybody that I've talked to has been wanting to see a Flying Dutchman and Lego never made it. Um, but there is a guy on Kuso called Cebius who made a really, really cool, very, very detailed one that would go great with these two ships. Um, so I'm going to take a minute and show you some pictures, and I think I've got a video, too, um, to show you the details of his set. And the, uh, the link will be in the description, so please go support that um, if you'd like to possibly see that as a real LEGO set one day. Um, so let's go ahead and move into the close-up and <laughs> look at the pictures and everything. Okay, here's a picture of his inspiration first, and now we'll look at all the minifigures. Um, just kind of a two-second clip of each one. Um, he gave me a lot of pictures to use, um, so these are all the different minifigures that he has planned for the set. Of course, if Lego makes it, they'll they'll tweak it. Um, so if you don't like the figures, you know it's whatever. Uh, Lego will change them most likely anyway if they do make the set. And then we've also got a, a video clip. It's about a minute, um, actually a little less than a minute. Um, but this is from CBS. He's just showing a quick kind of overview of the ship. Um, like I said, it's very quick. Um, but I thought I'd show you the video clip. And then I've also got some more pictures to show you, um, show some more detail of the, the ship. Because I think he did an amazing job on this set. Um, it's so detailed. He just put so much work into it. You can really tell by all the small details. Um, everyone got a little globe in there. Um, I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, the teeth on the back look really cool. Um, so I think that's the clip's almost over. Yeah. And then here are some more pictures. Um, I think I'm going to show each picture for about three seconds. Um, so if you want another look at them, I either watch the video a second time or you can pause it and really look at the detail on this set because you just can't do justice to how amazing the set looks. Um, but I want to just uh, go through a lot of these pictures for you um, so you can really see uh, what it's like because he puts so much time and effort into making this set. Um, and it's a very large set. So it will be a little bit more expensive if Lego makes it, but um, we haven't gotten to that point yet. He still needs a lot of supporters. Um, we really need to get him to 10,000 just to see if Lego will actually accept it too um, because they have already done Pirates of the Caribbean. So I'm really hoping that they'll go ahead and make this an actual set. Um, like I said, it is going to be a little expensive because it is so big and he, he actually creates the separate levels inside the ship so I think that was really really cool um, and I just I really want to see what Lego actually says about it um, I want to get him far enough to get an official Lego comment um, on his project to see what they actually think about it because I know I love it personally and uh, I just want to kind of show you his project and ask you to support it. Um, the link will be in the description below for you to go support his project and I really hope that you do. Um, there's a lot of great projects on Kuso and this is just one of the many that I'm going to be doing videos on. So uh, be looking forward to those videos really soon and I think I've shown you almost all the pictures I've got now. Just a couple more I think. Um, there's a great shot of the ship right there. And I think this is the last one right here. So uh, thanks for watching.